Grant is taking me to my very first CarMax auction. We're leaving. Don't be putting Frank in the trash can. You got me? You're in charge. <laughs> One thing too, there is a 2019 Toyota Camry here that is up for auction as well. And by the time this video goes live, we are going to have our 100th car already sold. So this is definitely a car that we want to look at to possibly give to a family in need. So you guys know I worked across the street from CarMax since 2010. Every Monday morning, I would hear them go, so right, I heard it every Monday morning. But I've never been over there because I wasn't technically licensed to go to an auction, right? Even though I probably could have walked over there and got in. So since Grant started, he's in here about what, 10 days now? 10 days. 10 days. And uh, he's doing exactly what we want him to do is try to help us out and grow this company. And with his knowledge that we've talked about in the past, he's taking us to CarMax. So we're going to see how it goes and see if they actually have good vehicles there because I've uh, always thought they sold junk. And Grant says, you can get some stuff out of there. Some good stuff, right? Some good Not stuff. Not junk stuff. Not junk stuff. All right. All right, here we are. And it's weird looking at that building over there because for all these years, I looked at this building from over there this way. And I've never been in the back here. So this is where the always heard the auction coming from. And today is just auction preview day. Love that wrap job, by the way. Uh, I know you watch my channel, but I don't know the rules of cameras. So we've got our little itty bitty camera today. And uh, worst case scenario, we got the iPhone. Okay, we're, so we're starting where? 39, okay, EcoBoost, right? All right, so I've never been back here, guys. Check this out. This is, uh, this is what's on the other side of the wall right there. So interesting, interesting place. There's a little Ram right here. Subaru, is this a Subaru? Yeah, it's a Subaru Legacy, I think is what that is. So let's uh, let's check around. And we, you know what we gotta keep an eye out on is uh, our giveaway car. You know, we got, we were close to a hundred sales and we gotta keep an eye out on finding a car for someone that's in need. All right, so he's gonna start it up. We're here early because we wanna hear this cold start on this engine. Purrs like a kitten. So what we're concerned on with this EcoBoost, I mean EcoBoost, is that there's any type of rattling when it starts up. So far, so good. So looking over this, this looks really good. This is a local car. We got the previous owner's name. Uh, I'm gonna call them to see what they know anything about it. But uh, yeah, it looks, looks good. One hour later. All right, so we uh, we got on recording back there. So I got a little bit, um, but I'm gonna respect their uh, rules, but they gave me a resource to communicate with CarMax Corporate so that I can record on here because I've got some really awesome ideas of, of buying things from CarMax so you guys can see uh, what they don't always sell to the public and how good of a company that they actually are here when it comes to selling cars. And, uh, you know, we were talking off camera that uh, everybody makes mistakes. Every, things happen. We don't know what's going to happen down the road uh, to a car that we sell when we've done all this inspections. It's a how you react after an issue comes up of how good of a company you are. And I got to say, from my experience with the CarMax, they're always top notch. So now that we've gotten those cars looked at, and we look at a total of five vehicles there today. So today we're recording is Friday. So what happens next is we come back on Monday to bid on them. Is that right? Actually, since COVID, they went to online only. So we don't even have to leave the office. Oh, really? Yes, So we sir. can hang out with you all day. That's right. Oh, that's awesome. That's we right. can like kind of beat up Mr. Chevy dude and Absolutely. protect Frank and yep. you know, all that stuff. That's so, right. so we do it just like we do what we've done the last nine months, do it online. Uh, I've got my logins and credentials for, through that. Yep. Um, we better check to make sure that I can pay. I don't know if I've done that. <laughs> so I think that's important, but uh, we'll figure that out down the road. So the next thing we got to do is see if we can win these cars. You don't even notice, do you? What? Where's Frank? He's gone. Where is Frank? I see him. Oh, He's, I see him. You gotta be kidding me. He's trapped in the Bentley. This is not funny. I'm not, I'm, I'm a little upset right now. Now that we have an employee here, we must have an HR department, right? So he's gonna go to HR. Or we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna communicate with HR. And this is a hostile work environment as of right now. And uh, we're gonna, we're gonna fix this. Yes. What are you smiling about? Listen, you guys were smirking when I left. I knew you guys were up to no good. This is unacceptable and we're gonna handle it when the customer leaves. What are you laughing about? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny, bud? She thinks, no, she doesn't know what she's laughing about either. It's kind of funny, you both are laughing about something. I, I I'm told just him. recording you like normal. Right, I, I just, I, I just don't understand it. I don't understand what he's, 
going on about? I, I do know Frank was feeling a little depressed when you left. <laughs> he committed suicide. <laughs> All I gotta say is this means war. <laughs> 72 hours later. All right, it's Monday morning and CarMax auction starts extremely early. So we got to do this from home. So uh, Mrs. Chevy dude does not have the comfort of her 40 something on inch screen that I bought her at the store, so we're using our MacBooks. So we have five total vehicles that we're doing. I better get it on my knees so everybody can see you too. So what are the vehicles that we're looking at? Obviously we got the F-150 that I showed them. Yeah, but I overruled you and found a different F-150 to look okay, at. Okay, which we did not see this F-150 there. So uh, we're out on the F-1, the red F-150 that I showed you because uh, we didn't realize it was a two-wheel drive. So. How I missed that, I don't know, uh, but the Ram, uh, we have a Ram that is four wheel drive. Uh, it specifically took a picture of the four wheel drive system on that. And then we have a uh, CRV. Honda CRV. That's going to be a cheap car, like an $8,000 vehicle. Uh, 2009 Corolla yep. and a Camry. Yeah, the Camry, we're out. The Camry has got made, it's got some sort of engine issues that I'm too scared to bid on. And this is what the engine sounds like. think about that engine so unfortunately none of those cars is going to be anything that we want to give away to someone that Camry would have been something really nice but that engine just sounds really goofy so we're gonna see if we can buy any of these cars here and then we're gonna still be on search of getting our giveaway car for someone we're recording this on Labor Day Monday and I'm um, hoping that the people are like maybe having a sleeping. fun weekend, sleeping, they drank way too much last night and they don't want to bid today. Um, that doesn't show us how many people are actually at the auction, which is a simulcast, it's all online. But um, the people that are currently bidding right now are a lot of smaller dealers that do more like subprime or buy here, pay here. And every one of those dealers, they just run the prices up because they don't have to abide by uh, loan values that the banks do with like our stuff. So um, I'm a little scared that maybe we're not gonna get any of this stuff, but we're, we're gonna try. So they're only in car number 15. 15 and our first car is what, 22? 22. 22. So, and then uh, I gotta go to work here in a little bit. So it's 8, 16 in the morning <laughs> and uh, I'm already late. Uh, I think you can be late for work, right? Grant doesn't have a way in yet. Yeah. All right, there's one more vehicle Mrs. Chevy Dude was bidding on. We're here at the store already. We're gonna get Frank out there to uh, have him help Grant sell some cars. But sadly and unfortunately, uh, we were just not able to buy any of those vehicles that we saw at auction, including that Camry, because you heard how bad that engine sounded. And what I did was I put it on my personal Facebook because Grant was like, nah, I don't know about that engine. She was like, I don't know about that engine. And we were all be like, we just didn't know. We were like, is it just normal sound or whatever? So I put it on Facebook and um, not one of my friends said anything good about the engine sound. So we were out on that as mentioned. I thought it sounded normal. I don't understand. Because there's just goofy noises now in engines. I, I just don't get it sometimes. You just don't know, right? We didn't buy anything today. They just all went for way too much. So we have to go out there and find cars for inventory some more. And of course, we've got to find that giveaway car so we can help a family in need.